Hello and welcome to Nice Work Pal, I am Jim. And behind the camera as always is the spectacular Dawn. Say good afternoon, Dawn. Good afternoon, Dawn. <laughs> we are here today at Bush Gardens. Feels like a special episode, like when the Bradys go to the Grand Canyon. And just like that, we might really get lost today because I don't know my way around here very well. But anyway, it's Christmas Town. That's what they do at Bush Gardens for the holidays. We're gonna see what it's all about. Little side note, it's after Christmas. This goes till January 7th, and the same kind of thing will probably happen every year. So if you're watching this at a later date, you can use it as your planning tool for future holidays. Anyway, come along, let's see what we can see. So while we're most looking forward to seeing all the lights and decorations here, I'm hoping to catch a couple of their Christmas shows before it gets dark. So we're catching the Christmas on Ice show. This theater looks pretty cool and we got some good seats. And we came equipped with popcorn. Caramel popcorn. Mm. Let's enjoy the show. Bush Gardens is proud to present Christmas on Ice. Christmas, Christmas on, on ice, ice was, was it was fantastic, so wasn't good. it? It's so oh good. Oh my god! Uh, for a minute, I thought it was going to be head wound on ice when he was swinging that girl around. I know. He was so like close. That. They were so good. They were really good. They did all kinds of spins and and they flung the dancers around. I was so impressed. I did not expect anything that good from from theme park entertainment. <laughs> Definitely. That was great. Here at the Moroccan Theater, Christmas on Ice. It was awesome. Well, it's not a stop at Bush Gardens if you didn't see some animals. Bush Gardens is a weird mix of big giant roller coasters and crazy animals. We saw chimpanzees today. They came right up to the window. It was great. It's because somebody was feeding them. Well, but still. a little food always helps, yeah. yeah. Helps me too. I'll come <laughs> over and say hi. Here, I have some food for you, Jim. It's a spectacularly close view of the elephant, isn't it? That's pretty close. Wow. This is going to be really pretty tonight, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. This is going to be super cool at night when it's all dark and all the lights are on. And we barely scratched the surface of this park. There's going to be so much to see. There's lights in every tree. All the way up the tree. I don't know how they do it. The how branches. do they get on all those branches? They go right to the ends of those branches. Yeah. Okay, 
okay for me. Just okay for me too. <laughs> a lot of singing, um, and it was kind of chaotic in there. It's a, a stage in a in a room that is the seating for a quick service area. So there's a lot of people going in and out trying to find seats and standing up, sitting yeah. down, moving. <laughs> it wasn't really a great place for a show, but, um, but hey, they can't all be. Um, Broadway hits. It's where the stage is. It is where the stage is. Strange. Yeah. But anyway, it's almost dark, so I think we're going to really start to see the lights. Case in point, the dragon right outside of here is is just popping. You can walk in and out of him. He's all lit up. I'm very excited for dark. No Rudolph. He'll see us next year. Sorry, Jim. just walking around true to my word I'm completely lost but this is really cool everywhere we go there's fantastic lights and I did hear this tunnel is here I'm so glad we found it and then so after that, the Christmas town has its own food booths it looks really good you can get 10 things for $45 otherwise they're like 10 bucks a piece Five things. Five, oh, I'm sorry. Five things. Yeah. Ten five things. Five things or 60. <laughs> five things. $10 a piece or five for 45 It still seems a little pricier than, say, like an Epcot food festival, wouldn't you say? I would say. Yeah. People, people bust on Disney for high prices, but honestly, I find almost every other theme park in the world charges more money than they do for these things. It's more. Yeah. Well, we can't walk by a bunch of food booths without checking things out. So here's the here's the first purchase. This is the Jack Frost. It is coconut rum, blue caraco, and a little bit of lime. Mm. Happy holidays! All right, we got essentially what is the Thanksgiving dinner. We've got turkey with cranberry and stuffing and gravy, and it looks delicious. That was kind of my choice, but then there is also this braised beef. Braised beef with uh, smoked gouda mac and cheese. Braised beef with mac cheese, smoked gouda mac and cheese. It sounds good. Now, they look a little small, <laughs> or maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> They're a little small. They're a little small. And they were about $10 each. Yes, they were. They might taste delicious. Let's check them out. We'll see. The beef was pretty good. Uh, it was I, like just okay I said, for me. It was, I, I thought it could be bigger, but I was a little disappointed in the turkey. Like, how hard is it to to do turkey and stuffing with, with cranberry sauce, right? Right. But it tasted, Somehow. <laughs> the stuffing tasted funny, the turkey was thin and small. Um, yeah, there was just, no flavor to the stuffing. Yeah, it was, it was like wet bread. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah. I know you like the bigger bulbs. Are you guys ready to be chilly? Ready to be chilly. Very cute. Thank you, Chili. Well, that's going to do it for us tonight at Bush Gardens for Christmas Town. I was kind of blown away. The lights everywhere. 
were spectacular. The whole place is lit up. They were up the trees and out on the branches Every and branch. hanging down. Yeah, it was there was really the nice. whole tunnel. Everything was lit up. It was really a sight to see. I'm sorry we did not do this at the beginning of the season so that everyone could see, but honestly, I really didn't have that high expectation. So, um, yeah, we came here on a whim on, on the end of the season, and uh, it turns out it was really good. The ice skating show, also fantastic. Turns out that's something they do every year, and it's one of the favorites. I can see why. That was my favorite. Yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, the Three Kings show was, was nothing special, but but the ice skating was fantastic. And if we had gotten here before Christmas, we would have seen more characters like Santa and Rudolph. And honestly, this is just a good time. There's fireworks tonight. There's meet and greets. There's just so much going on here. I had a great time. Dawn, it's, how about you? It's packed here, but I don't feel like we couldn't really move about. We yes. did not try to get on any rides. I have no idea how long the rides were, but we were I, here for I the rides. I looked at the wait times. Some of them were kind of long, and I suspect they're better now that it's late at night. But this is a holiday week. All theme parks are crazy busy. There's no getting around that. Um, the only thing I regret is we did not film that we had a fantastic sandwich at the Springs Tap Room. Uh, we had some food at the booths and we didn't love it. Uh, and then we wound up having a great sandwich later, but it was just kind of a, a quiet time and we had a drink and a sandwich and it turned out to be really good. And I'm sorry we didn't show it, but sometimes we get caught up in the fun. You know, we're actually out here doing this having a great time while we're filming and you know vacationing like you would so um so, sometimes we forget the details but yeah there was there was some good food here um i would totally do this again we'll come back to bush gardens again i'm sure this is a, a nice different mix of like theme park big giant roller coasters animals kind of fun yeah they had some giant what were they alligators yeah it was alligators oh, and big huge elephants elephants yep we, uh, saw, we saw the gorillas, gorillas. yeah, yeah. And, and we weren't even looking no there's a lot of animals here i'm looking forward to coming back and really exploring this place yeah so normally we're disney people you know that, but but uh, it's good to get out and see what else is going on in the world. Anyway, Dawn, how'd I do tonight? Nice work, pal. Nobody to kiss under the mistletoe, Jim. <laughs> <laughs>